Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing is multiplying fractions. Uh, this time we're multiplying unit fractions with non-unit fractions. Unit fractions meaning we have a single numerator here. So like a, a one-fifth or perhaps a one over 11. Those are unit fractions. We have a numerator of one, so a single unit. Non-unit fractions are basically we have a numerator other than one. So we could have a three-fifth or a uh, 4 over 9 kind of thing. Those are all non-unit fractions, okay? So uh, we're multiplying unit fractions by non-unit fractions. So, And we're going to make models of things as we go, Sierra. So what we want to do here is take one-third of three-fifths. So um, I can start my area model with a nice big square, and I want to turn this into th or show three-fifths. So I have one, two, three, four, five parts. And I need to shade in. I'm going to go in one direction. I'm going to shade in. Uh, oh, a little technical issue here. Hang on. Let me try that again. Here's my rectangle. One, two, three, four, five. Shade in three fifths. That's here comes two fifths and three fifths. And I want to take one third of that. So. What I need to do now is take this area and split it into thirds. But what I'm also going to do is complete my segments here to show that all the boxes are the same size because that'll help me uh, come up with a fraction. So uh, I need one third of that. So one third of that section would be these guys here. Okay, so I had three sections here. I took one of them. And so now I have three parts that are sort of double shaded here out of a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I wind up with 3 fifteenths. Now what's interesting about this is if I was to reduce this, I would divide both of these by 3 or divide this fraction by 3 over 3 and I get 1 uh, over 5. Okay, what's cool about this, check this out, we can we can do this or show this on the same diagram. If I group these guys together, I notice I have a cluster of three. And I'll also notice, I also notice that if I made clusters of three for the rest of what's going on here, here's a cluster of three boxes right here, and there's another cluster. I actually have a total of five clusters of three and one of them is shaded in. So I have that one out of a possible five clusters of three. So notice there's that three that I divided by. I made groups of three. There were five clusters of them, that kind of thing. So pretty neat. So that's multiplying fractions by fractions or unit fractions by non-unit fractions. Let's do one more. Okay, let's take the, uh, I don't want to do one third. Let's do this one here. So let's take one half of six eighths. So let's make a nice big okay, area model here. I'm going to split this into eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. I need six of them shaded. I always go in one direction for my first part of my shading. And then I go in the other direction to show the double shading here. That was three. Here's four. Here's five. There's six. So I needed six eighths here. They are all six eighths. Now I need to take half of that. So I'm just going to split this all in half. But again, I'm going to keep on going here. And now I need half. So half of that shaded area, I'm going to double shade. So I'm taking half of that six eighths. And what I'm left with is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six of them are shaded or double shaded, out of a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay? And once again, I can reduce that. If I divided both of these guys by 2, I wind up with 3 over 8. Okay? That's my final answer. Now, uh, before, what's interesting is if I divide it by 2, which means I'm going to make groups of 2 here, clusters of 2. Here's 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, there are my eight clusters, and one, two, three of those clusters are shaded in. So there's my reducing, my three over eight. Okay. While I'm at while I'm at it, I might as well do one of these word problems here. We have Sarah. She has a photography blog. Sounds like fun. Three sevenths of her uh, her photos are of nature. So I'm going to start right away with a with an area model, and I'm going to start labeling areas. It looks like three sevenths. So I'm going to split this into sevenths. One, two, three, four, five, six sevenths. So three of these. One, two. Three are of nature, so I'm going to put an N, nature, nature, and nature. Now, one quarter of the rest are of her friends, of the rest. Now, this area here is what's left, this guy right here. Okay, this is what's left. One quarter of that is for her friends. Now, fortunately, I have four parts already. So I need one of these pieces, this guy right here. I'm going to put an F. Those are photos of her friends. Now, the question is, what fraction of all of Sarah's photos are of her friends? Well, this is the part that is of her friends, the photographs, this piece here. What they're really asking is, what is the fraction of the whole? What part of this in relation to the whole? Well, it's one, it's one part out of a total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means one seventh. Now, what does that look like here um, as an algorithm? Because we have one fourth of this piece here. Now this piece here is four sevenths. Okay. It's four sevenths and we need one quarter of that. So actually I'm going to write it the other way. I need one quarter of the four sevenths, which was what was left. And that of course gives me my four over twenty-eight. And I could divide both of these by four over four. And I wind up with one over Seven. There it is. So I can write my final answer. Uh, let's see what fraction. So one seventh of the blog is filled with Sarah's friends. Okay, so that's the deal. All right, thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.